Dear ASEAN Farmer and Cooperative members, government officials and officials from the ASEAN Secretariat, we are pleased to have been part of your journey for these past five years. During this period, it's been a pleasure to work with you, with ASEAN, and with the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, in support of small-scale farmers and rural producers in ASEAN. The program has, been, has borne fruitful results. Let me highlight some of these achievements. Since its inception in 2015, the program has supported national farmers' organizations to grow into stable, performing and accountable organizations, capable of providing effective and sustainable services to their members, the 1,394 subnational farmer organizations. The total membership of supported national farmer organizations has increased with 33% while the membership of subnational farmer organizations has grown from 11.9 million to 15.7 million farmers, reflecting the growing satisfaction of farmer members with the services being provided. An assessment of NFO's institutional capacities conducted in 2020 shows that 68% of them have reached the highest level of institutional maturity against 32% in 2015. This, thanks to capacity building in support of governance, organizational and financial management and leadership, and thanks to the regular statutory meetings and annual audits. The elaboration of 165 business plans for subnational pharma organizations has equipped them with a clear roadmap for institutional growth and improved service provision. A lot of progress can also be noted in terms of policy influence. The national farmer organizations have been advocating sometimes for years for changes in different na national level policies and local level policies, out of which 80 were eventually adopted or amended. Finally, the program increased service delivery. Thanks to the program, 600 29 subnational farmer organizations are engaged in the provision of economic services to 8.3 million members. Over half of those have reported an increase in total income. Of course, last year and this year have been especially difficult. COVID-19 has hit local farmers hard. I'm happy that our program has been able to support awareness campaigns to avoid the spread of COVID-19 and provided food packs and other essentials such as disinfectants and masks to farmers who needed them most. Online communication materials sensitized the broader public of the difficulties farmers encountered, which led private organizations and government agencies to help farmers by purchasing their unsold goods. Members were also assisted in accessing government support, such as cash aid. Training in storage and preservation was conducted to avoid food waste. So although we have accomplished many things, I would like to stress our hope for the future. As your organizations have grown more resilient, we hope that your services and the income generated by these services will continue to increase your organization's membership, extending it to the youth and women, ensuring the prosperity of all farmers in ASEAN. Thank you very much.